Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are going to be filling out my January 2020 allocated spending plan. This is what I use to make my paycheck to paycheck budget. I like to do this probably before the 15th of the month just to make sure that I can actually afford to do what I want to do to see how things shake out sometimes if I've made some changes or something. I like to kind of forecast everything and it makes me feel better. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing below. And if you're not new, hey y'all, how are y'all? And let's get started. I've already filled in some areas of the allocated spending plan. My income from my full-time job, money that's coming out of my sinking funds, and my savings from my cash envelopes from the month of December. The total of these three is $3,057.66. And I've already changed some labels so that the names are meaningful to me. This month I'm going to change up how I do this. Normally I do this column and this column because I only get paid twice a month. And I'm going to skip this column and write in this column. I write pretty big so I need some extra room. And the link to this form and the allocated, not the allocated spending plan, I'm sorry, we're looking at the allocated spending plan, but the monthly cash flow plan is actually in the description box below. If you would like a copy, or if you're trying to help somebody and you're trying to show them how to zero out a paycheck, these are really useful. The instructions are actually on the forms themselves, so you can help somebody else go through that if you need to. And I know I did that because I had a friend who asked for some help. So I am going to fill out the rest and I'm going to speed that up so that way this isn't too painful for you guys. To fill out this form, what you do is you have your income per pay period and you'll see like two columns. There's a budgeted and a remaining. You'll take the budgeted amount. So like for Christmas and gifts, that's $80.57. I'm going to subtract that from my pay period income, which was $3,057.66. And that's going to give me a remaining balance of $2,977.09. Then I'm going to subtract out the $60 for my sons and come up with a remaining balance of $2,917.09. I do that all the way down until I zero out paycheck number one. Um, never overspend your paychecks. If at all possible, you want to avoid that. So that way you don't incur bake fees or bounce checks or any of those things because that's the penalty for overspending your paycheck is going into the negative. You don't want to ever do that. So if you can, move some deadlines or some due dates on your bills and see if that'll work. A lot of times they will do that. Um, but you do have to call them and talk to them and tell them what's going on. And so I'm going to zero out both of these paychecks. And I do expect some changes. So this is not accurate at all. This is just a forecast. And this is just let me know, okay, when I switch back to $300 in grocery, my utilities is going to go up. Like I'm going to estimate $275. How is all of that going to flesh out? That's what I try to get into my head. So it makes me a little bit calmer when I get my paycheck. I know everything is budgeted out. And so I just don't kind of go crazy with it because it's real easy for me to skip forecasting and then get tied up by the time I get paid, not do my paycheck to paycheck budget. Then I don't have a plan and I'm just doing whatever. And so I have to manage myself that way. Out of my first paycheck, I'll be making an interest-only payment on my student loans. What that payment does is it meets the bare minimum of all the interest on all the other loans. So they pretty much stay stagnant. If they get reduced, it may be like 99 cents at the most. Um, and then I'll make a snowball payment to Fed Loan H7 for $534.34. And that'll be the paid debt. Uh, with me video that I will upload by the 31st of December. Now I'm going to zero out my second paycheck. 
you'll see that my first paycheck had all of my cash envelopes, but my second paycheck is the one that covers all of my utilities and everything else that's needed around the house. Um, and also this is a check where I make the biggest debt snowball payment. And um, $341.17 is the IBR payment, which is income based repayment. And then $1389.26 is my estimated debt snowball uh, right now, unless I get some savings or something to add to that. Um, I am so looking forward to being debt free. I know it's about another two years. I want to say maybe two and a half. Yeah, two and a half years for me. I'm not sure, but it depends on how aggressive I am. And I'm trying to be as aggressive as possible, but take care of things that I need for my career and day to day living. Okay, everything's uh, filled out. And this is gonna be my precursor for my paycheck to paycheck budget. Um, just to let you guys know why I still do this. For some reason, when I have tried to skip this, I always feel like I did something wrong, so I always go back and do it. It's just a habit, I think, now that I do it. Um, but I have zeroed out both of those paychecks. I do expect my insurance section to change from what I'm guessing that it's going to be. Um, I won't know until I start to see my paychecks to see what it really comes out to be. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, please, please feel free to subscribe below if you're interested in planning, budgeting, and pay debt with me videos. And you guys have a super fantastic morning, afternoon, and evening. Bye.